All right, so I'm gonna be showing you how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad T490S. All right, we're gonna just open the bottom cover, see if there's anything weird going on inside. For some reason, this laptop just randomly shuts itself off. We're using a J1 or JIS1 screwdriver. Um, usually you can also use a PH1 or Phillips one. All right, anyways, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Uh, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well, because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, let's go ahead and continue getting this off. There's a little hole right here that's like a battery reset button. Uh, if you use a pin or, or a folded out small paper clip, you can press and hold that for about 15 seconds to do a battery reset. And sometimes that will fix some things. All right, this is, again, a T490S. And yeah, after undoing all these screws, they don't come out, they are held in place. Um, you can actually get your fingernails or a pry tool in here, and then you kind of just wiggle and pull it up. It might be a little bit stuck. Oh, looks like this side's a little stuck here, so let me double check. All right, if it doesn't come up, you might have to slide a pry tool or a fingernail along the edge. Okay, so just like that. Same thing here. Oh, is this screw still stuck? No. Okay, it feels like there's actually some clips in the middle. So I'm going to use my thumb here and push down. So I'm basically flexing the whole case this way. And let's see if we can use that to get it out. Hmm. This case is actually holding on super strong around the middle here. Let's see. Pull there. Pull under here. Pull here a bit more. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is stuck real strong. Okay, let's see. Can I pull it and wiggle it over this way? No. Is there anything visible in here? Oh, there's a hair in there. Okay, maybe cleaning it might help. We'll find out. But what is holding this down? I don't know. Oh, okay, that worked. So while pulling on this, let me see. So you can see it's clipped in. If you're pulling on it, if you press here, you can see it unlatched. So... Interesting. Anyways, it came out just like that. I guess that's the easy way you get it out. Again, we'll do it one more time just to show you. You can see it's latched on. Okay. Push here while pulling up and you can see it came out. All right. Nice, easy way to remove that. Hopefully this helped a lot of people getting the bottom cover off. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the battery. I don't see anything strange looking in here. So yeah, I don't know what we're going to be able to do to stop it from doing its thing where it's shutting off. Let me actually get a thumbnail here. So I'll put that there. Okay, if you're wondering, the battery model number is on the battery right here. It's L, let me see if I can show you here. L18M3PD1. All right, so that's the battery. Or you can just search T490S batteries probably. Or if you need a link, uh, let me know. I can send you... Uh, an Amazon affiliate link. All right, so we'll get all these screws out. There's two on the top side here, so one here and here, and then it looks like one down here and one over here. Um, we're going to disconnect the battery and do a power drain, and then I'm going to actually clean the board just using a toothbrush to see if there's any dust that needs to be removed. All right, it looks like there's a little um, thing here that latches underneath, so you actually have to lift from the top side. Okay, is there something holding it here? Oh, there's one more screw over here. Don't forget that one. Okay, so now we got all the screws. We should be able to lift this up. All right, and then once you lift it slightly, you can actually slide this, slide the whole battery this way. Okay, and now it's no longer hooked under there, and we can lift this up. So I'm going to get my finger underneath here to pinch the bottom of this cable. And I'm going to go from the other side and same thing, but wiggle side to side. So do that and we should be able to, there we go, walk that connector out. So there's that battery. We're going to set that aside. Okay, so under here you can see there's the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery. It plugs in right there. Got the speaker connector there, which plugs in, has a cable running along to the other speaker here. Um, you got the fan right here. Um, it looks to be taped to the heat sink and it's connected here. These kinds of connectors has these wings. You kind of just grab the wings and wiggle and it pops out. Whoa, why is that so brittle? And why is the plastic broken? 
interesting. Let me put this back in. Hopefully it'll be okay. I wonder if that's, that's kind of weird. Why is that? Okay. Anyways, we put the connector back in. It looks like it went in okay. This is the CPU. Um, the CPU is soldered to the motherboard. The heat sink runs along here. This pulls the heat out and then the uh, fan blows the air through these thin fins to uh, cool the computer down. Uh, this USB port is removable. It has this little flip latch type connection where you can flip this black part the latch up All right, and then you can pull that cable out. I'm not going to pull that out. We're going to leave that in there Okay, but there's two screws holding it down and then you should be able to remove that um, You got two cables going into the screen uh, One thing I need to do here after disconnecting the battery open up the laptop And then we're going to press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power all right, this makes it a lot safer to work on, um, especially if you're gonna be messing with the screen cables, you wanna do this, all right? So we'll hold it for a few more seconds. It only takes 15 seconds, so just do it. All right, there we go. <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna unlatch this. This is most likely for the camera microphones and stuff. So this has a little metal latch. I'm gonna flip that, pull that back, and then we're just gonna reseat it because sometimes it can be a little dusty or corroded a little and maybe that might be causing the issue I doubt it but we're gonna try it anyways all right so we got this cable here as well this is the LCD LVDS connector same thing flip the latch and I push towards the bottom of this latch to pull that connector out all right we're gonna go ahead now and put it back in same thing and then latch it down okay there's a random hair in there so we'll take that out okay um, it's not too dusty, so I'm just going to use the toothbrush on top. Oops, sorry, let me zoom out here. So I'm just going to use the toothbrush on top here and try and just brush away any dust that might be causing any weird issues. I'm not sure why, but the customer's computer is randomly shutting itself off. Okay, I don't see anything weird looking inside here, so I'm not too sure what would be causing that. Um, there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD here, um, one screw, JIS-1, um, undo that, you can pull it up slightly and then you can wiggle and pull this out. There are ther There is a thermal pad under there, so just be careful with that, you don't want to lift it up too quick and then end up damaging your SSD. We're going to push that back in, let that go back down, and we'll tighten this screw back into place. Okay. All right. And then we got all these cables here. Um, this one is very likely the keyboard. Uh, so it has these flip latches again, and it hooks on these little wing areas. So you have to lift it up slightly, and then you can pull the cable out. But I'm going to leave that in. Actually, let me show you one. Okay, so it comes out like that. Um, all right, and we're going to put this back in. Use the blue tab to help guide it because it's uh, thick plastic and allows you to easily move it then slide your finger over to latch it down, right? Don't use any tools because you don't want to accidentally rip that out. I've had a lot of people mention that they ripped that plastic thing off, All right? This one is most likely for the track point um, thing. Does this have one of those? Yeah, so the track point ball thing in the center, and then this is for the touchpad trackpad, all right? So same thing, they have these little plastic latches you can flip up and then pull the cable out, all right? Not really much else in here. I'm gonna kind of just look through it, see if I see anything weird. Also, there's the battery reset hole here that I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna press and hold that for about 15 seconds while I'm looking at other things. There's a little slot here. Usually this is for like a mobile uh, card. Um, so here you can see there's a slot here. So I think usually you can put a SIM card in there, um, but that's only if you have this uh, mobile network card. Okay. Not much else here. There's some weird stuff on this latch I just noticed. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little black splotch there. I'm gonna see if I can clean that off. Okay, looks like that came off. So cleaned off whatever that was. Uh, let me flip that latch up and clean that area just in case. Okay, put that latch back down, clicked it into place. Wireless card is soldered to the board, so you can't replace it. There's the two antennas there. If you need to remove the antennas, you go from the tail and pull straight up. I have other videos on other laptops showing that process. All right, you got these little connectors here as well. Um, 
So these all go into the screen. So it might be some are for the microphone, some are for the cameras and other sensors and stuff. There's um, a Hall effect sensor in the screen area, um, which is right up here. Um, and the way I know that is there's a magnet down in this area here. So actually you can see the magnet right there, okay? And that, when you close the screen, it triggers the sensor here. I used a magnet on there to test it and it turns the screen off and puts it into sleep mode. So that's how we know. Um, not really much else. It looks like on some models they might have a, maybe a hard drive here because there's a little latch. Oh no, FPR, FPR. So this is probably for a fingerprint reader on some models. This one doesn't have the fingerprint reader, so it's not using that um, connector. All right, and I think that's pretty much all to show in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, battery back in and reassemble this, and we'll see if anything changed. Um, it's a very intermittent issue, so it's not really something I can show, uh, but basically the computer just shuts itself off mid use. All right, so I got that connector in and pinched it back into place. Now we're gonna slide this up again, kind of tilting it at an angle get that back tucked underneath and we'll get the battery screws back in now. All right, so we'll get that in. Get this in. Get this in. This in. And the last one here. All right, then we'll just get the bottom cover back on and we're good to go. So you do have to go in at an angle, get the bottom half in first because it has these little things where this hooks into, okay? So you gotta make sure those hook in first. Okay, get that all lined up and hooked into place. Lower that down. This in, that down. And we'll this in and tuck that down. Make sure that middle one's also clicked in. Okay. Tuck that down and tighten this down. And that's pretty much it. Click all the outer edges in and we're good to go. And again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and it allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Again, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. And yeah, other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.